Welcome to the world of mattresses, dear students. And we have to take the topic to the next level today. Today, we'll be talking about operations on mattresses. But before we actually come to our main topic, which is operations on mattresses, I would like you to become familiar with few more names which we give to the matrix. So, we already know what a square matrix was. When rows are equal to column, we call a matrix as square. After that, we need to understand a term called a diagonal matrix. What is a diagonal matrix? If any element Aij is 0, where i is not equal to j, we say the matrix is a diagonal matrix. And giving you a clarity here, the position is A12 and the inventory value is 0. And if you can check all, if Aij where i not equal to j is 0, we are calling it a diagonal matrix. Here, this is position A11, this is position A22, this is position A33. So i is equal to j in all these three positions and therefore this is a diagonal matrix. Further, a type of diagonal matrix can be a scalar matrix if, if all the diagonal entries are equal in value. And further, a type of scalar matrix can be called as an identity matrix if all the diagonal matrix are equal to one each. So this is what we need to know before we come to the main topic, which is operations on matrices. When we talk of operations on matrices, we have four operations, addition, subtraction, in fact, scalar multiplication is more or less same. And then we will find a new way out to substitute division. To begin with, let us talk about addition and subtraction. And addition and subtraction both follow the same prerequisite. We have to understand when can we add or when can we subtract a matrix. The prerequisite is we can only add and subtract those matrices which carry the same order. So what is the prerequisite to add and subtract? The order has to be identical. The order has to be same. I repeat, we can add subtract the matrices only if they carry the same order. And then how do we go about that addition subtraction is we add subtract the corresponding entries only. We add subtract corresponding entries only. The next thing, before we actually take up a question, we need to know something about scalar multiplication also. Now, how do we handle scalar multiplication in matrices? If suppose I have to multiply any matrix A with a scalar K, then it simply means that I am multiplying the scalar K with every entry inside the matrix. This is how we implicate the scalar multiplication. Let us quickly do one question which involves all the three so that you become comfortable and we take it to the good set of questions. Suppose if I write, let us write 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 5, 7, plus 2 times 5, 8, 3, and 0, 1, 4, minus, say, 5, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3. So here I have chosen a specimen and I'm supposed to simplify or reduce this expression. So first we need to check can we add or subtract or can we multiply. So here let me check the order 2 cross 3, again 2 cross 3, again this is 2 cross 3. So is the addition subtraction possible? Yes, all the three matrices involved here carry the same order. So we can further simplify the same. And I'll take it in two steps here. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 5, 7. I'm first handling the scalar multiplication. Let me take this 2 inside the matrix. It will go 2 into 5, 10. 2 into 8, 16, 2 into 3, 6, 0, 
2 and 8. Scalar multiplication, the scalar outside has affected the value of every entry inside the matrix and this is minus 1, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So I'm doing it in two steps. So let us learn how to go about addition and subtraction in matrices now. First thing that all the matrices involved here carry the order 2 cross 3. So we have to understand the answer of the resultant matrix will also be of order 2 cross 3. When we add subtract the matrices, we have to just ensure that we pick up the same positions. That means we are adding or subtracting the corresponding entries in all the matrices. So when I want A11, it means I'll take 1. I'll take 10 and then I'll take minus 5. Please do not overlook this minus here. We move on. The next should be A12. So I take 2 from here plus 16 and then this will be minus 1. I, my next entry is 1, 3 position. So it should be 3 plus 6 and minus 2. Now this should be minus 1 plus 0. I hope you know how I am doing this now. Minus 1. Then we move on 5 plus 2 and then it is going to be minus 2. Then we move on. It should be 7 plus 8 followed by minus 3. Let's quickly give the values. Simplify it. This is 6. This is 18 minus 1. 17. This is 9 minus 2. This has to be 9 minus 2 is 7, minus 1 minus 1, minus 2, and 2 cancels, 5, and 15 minus 3 is 12, and I am pasting the order so that you do not forget that if you are adding, subtracting 2 cross 3, the resultant is also 2 cross 3. Let us quickly take up few questions to consolidate what we have learned before we take it to actual multiply. So, are we ready to take up few questions? Try solving them with me. If you are observing the choice of questions that I have taken, they are missing type questions. And I have to tell you here that this is the question which has been asked this year in 2020 and this is just a one marker. So, we cannot take things for granted. Let us see the first here and let us try. So here, I am given the matrix equation. There's a matrix on the left, there's a matrix on the right. So I'm calling it a matrix equation. And I'm supposed to solve the expression A minus 2B. So very clear that A minus 2B will appear only if I get the value of A and I get the value of B. Here, I'm making my choice. I, if I compare, calling them as equal because they are, this is a matrix equation, so A11 here should be equal to A11 here and therefore I say A plus 4 is equal to 2A plus 2. And from here when I solve 4 minus 2, 2A minus A, A finally gives me the value as 2. Very simple as I said. Now it's turn of B. So I have to make the correct choice. This no, this no, I think this is the best place to find B. I'm comparing A, 1, 2, so that is 3B and on my right is B plus 2. The value is 3B minus B, 2, 2B, 2 and B comes as 1. So is this the end of the question? No, the answer is still not there. So what is it that we have to evaluate? Therefore, A minus 2B means 2 minus 2 into 1 and 2 minus 2, the answer is 0. So this is my answer and this is a question on missing type, directly coming from addition and subtraction. Looking up to the next question here, this was a missing type in variable form this is again but here the variable is a matrix we are actually given two equations and we can compare it with linear type i am only asked for
for matrix A. Please understand, here this was just the entry. Here we are expected to calculate the entire matrix. So how do I go about it? To me, there are two linear equations and I can think of elimination. If I directly think of elimination, then I will get matrix B first. So I'm planning to get matrix A direct. For that, I need to eliminate B. So here, elimination of B, if I plan, the coefficient is minus 2. So all I need to do is give 2 to this equation here. Let me call this equation as 1. So I'm giving 2 here. The equation now becomes 2A plus 2B and scalar multiplication of matrix on the right with 2 will give me 2, 0, 2 and 2. We move on, write the second equation just vertically beneath this and let me name it for you. So this is equation 2 and this is A minus 2B and this is going to be minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1. If I look at both the equations here, I, have, I am eliminating B and how will I eliminate? On addition. This is basic, you must know. So I have decided to add the two equations and when I am adding B cancels, I can see 3A equal to, let us add, remember, corresponding entries. So 2 and minus 1 will give me 1. 0 and 1 I am adding is 1. We are here at this position 2 and 0. The addition will be 2. And 2 and minus 1 the addition will be 1. And we close it here. So we move A is equals to 1, 1, 2, 1 upon 3. So final answer, this is this year's board question. Catch you with multiplication and questions related to multiplication soon. And in the meanwhile, you can start matrices with the basic questions. Thank you.